Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. 44-year-old Colorado resident and Army veteran Logan Grover packed for a fight in D.C. He took a mouthpiece, body armor, tactical gloves, earplugs, a pair of scissors that he broke in half, so they were like two knives, basically, a respirator, and two hairbrushes that had a fine tip point at the end of each of the handles. On January 5th of 2021, after he arrived in D.C., Grover posted this long screed on Facebook. He falsely claimed that the election was stolen. He ranted about Antifa and BLM, of course. And he said, quote, I have no interest in violence. Sadly, I recognize that violence is highly likely. I'm not certain what's going to happen tomorrow. I am certain I need to be here. Yeah, I have no interest in violence. That's why I brought a bunch of pointy, deadly weapons with me. So Grover also shared photos of himself in front of the Capitol and clearly visible in some of the photos was fencing with a large white sign with bright red capital letters on them that read, quote, area closed by the order of the United States Capitol Police Board. So on January 6th, Grover stepped over those that fencing, and those barricades, And he was seen within the restricted area of the Capitol. And then he was seen on surveillance video illegally entering the Capitol as alarms blared. And just a small handful of officers were attempting to block more of the mob from getting in. So Grover made his way to the Capitol rotunda. He was in a brief scuffle with an officer and he lost his MAGA hat. But then even after he exited the building, Grover remained on the Capitol grounds until after 5 p.m. While still at the Capitol, Grover received a message from a friend saying, quote, you've affiliated yourself with an odd group of folks in D.C. trying to destroy everything we swore our lives to defend, our country, the Constitution, and the institutions thus created that our system of government. That friend messaged again later and said, you know, I hope you're okay. And then Grover replied sometime later to both of the messages and said, quote, we swore to defend a lawful system of government. When it ceases to abide by those laws, it becomes unlawful. Having said that, I don't support revolution yet. Staying safe-ish, thanks. Then another friend of Grover called him out for buying into propaganda, and that person noted that no court had found any evidence of election fraud. But Grover replied with more BS about corruption and fraud, and I should mention, this guy has a law degree. Having said that, following his arrest, he wasn't exactly forthright with the FBI agents. He's really lucky the prosecutors are weak. He's really lucky they didn't hit him with lying to federal agents because Grover admitted to taking weapons to D.C. and all of the other items I mentioned, but he claimed that he left the weapons in his hotel room. And then he said he couldn't remember if he took the tactical vest with him. He also said that the area closed signs had been removed, you know, before he got there. As evidenced by security camera footage, that is 100% false. Grover literally stepped over the fencing and the signs were still attached to it. He also lied about why he entered the Capitol. He claimed that he got caught up in the group of people. They were pushing from behind. I mean, these guys become so weak. They're just like little waifs that can't push against the force of a few people behind them. Um, He then said that he left the building as soon as he was able to turn around. I mean, again, video evidence proves 100 percent a lie. It's totally untrue. In addition, Grover told the agents that all of the rioting that was done on January 6th was due to a small number of Antifa, BLM, Proud Boys and Oath Keepers who he referred to as agitators. Here I thought you had to be intelligent to get a law degree. So Grover was arrested on April 28th of 2021, and he was charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, 
two counts of disorderly conduct and parading or demonstrating in a capital. In July of 2022, Grover pleaded guilty to the parading charge, and he was looking at up to six months in jail, five years of probation, and 5,000 in fines. However, the prosecutor requested only 45 days in jail, three years of probation, 60 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution. Unfortunately, I couldn't locate any details about what may have gone down at the sentencing hearing, but U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta presided over Grover's case. He ended up sentencing Grover to only 30 days of home detention and 24 months of probation. No fine, no restitution. I mean, seriously? Why didn't he just bake him a cookie and send him out to play with his fellow insurrectionists down the street? This is one of the worst sentences that I've seen from Meta. We have no idea if this guy was carrying weapons on January 6th. He brought them. What are the chances that he left every single one at the hotel? With the lies that he told? Really? You know, we know he lied about just about every other key element of his story. And this guy swore an oath to protect this country. But he did the complete opposite. But we're supposed to take him at his word about this, about the weapons. These judges, these prosecutors, they are 100 percent going to be responsible for the next time. I will let you guys know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please donate. Please become a monthly supporter if you possibly can or leave a one time donation. Um, it all helps to keep the show going. Please like this video, share it with others, subscribe, tell others to subscribe. All of it truly helps to uh, help with the Google gods, <laughs> get more eyeballs on this information. And I greatly appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.